Hey everybody, it's Michael, the Texas Auction Picker here. It's another Saturday night. Had a great night at the auction this evening. I'm gonna show you some of the stuff I got here. I'm gonna start with that hat right there. Now these were two for a dollar. I just like hats. That's concrete clinic. Some business, some concrete pouring business that was up in Chicago. It's a Chicago area code on it. Maybe it still is up there, I don't know. Uh, but I just bought that for myself. They were two for a dollar. Um, start right here. Uh, got this book of box of books. Uh, paid four dollars for all this. Mostly it's um, mostly it's children's stuff. I needed some. Got a big gap in in on my children's bookshelf at the flea market, so that'll fill it up good. Got this little set of spice jars. One of them I opened up. It actually has labels you can put on them. You can see there's a spot for the, for labels right there, and there's one of these that actually has the labels. Yeah, there they are. There's the labels right there in it. They're all pretty in pretty nice condition here. Got a real nice wood shelf right there. I paid two bucks for the whole thing. I'll probably put ten or fifteen on it at the flea market. Got a jar of black bottle of Blackburn syrup here. Just bought that for myself. Um, it's a local syrup and jelly company. And there's a guy who brings a bunch of this and jelly up there. You, I bought it before you've seen it in the videos. That's just for me. Paid a buck and a half for it. Cheaper than I, a little cheaper than what I'd get it if I went out to the grocery store. Uh, bought a box full of clothes hangers for two bucks. So it's just um, about 30 of them in there. That's just something for the house. Got these uh, auto night lights, color changing night lights. They uh, come on automatically when uh, they got a light sensor on there, so when it's dark, they come on automatically and they change colors. Paid two bucks a piece for those. I got some clocks here for five dollars a piece. A couple of old ones here. This is a Big Ben West clock. Well, it's called no, it's a Baby Ben West clock. Uh, they said the alarm doesn't work in it, but it does run keeps accurate time. The, the bell just doesn't work in it. Um, this is a neat little portable clock and it works completely. I wound it up and I could hear it running and I set the time on it earlier in the evening. Check the bell out. That is a Finney Walker. A couple of older clocks. Figure they might be worth something on eBay. Paid five dollars a piece for those, and for this is a neat little clock. This is a Ben Ben Big Ben Moonbeam clock, and and it works. I plugged it in, and checked it out. The alarm is really unique on this. It has a light right here, and when the alarm goes off, this light flashes, and then after it flashes for a few seconds, then a bell goes off to wake you up. So it's supposed to like wake you up gentle, uh, be a more gentle wake up. Paid five dollars for that. I'll put all those on eBay. See what I what I can get for them. I got two of these VTech cordless phones here. Got the main unit and a one and one extra one for another room. Uh, these are refurbished. I paid seven fifty a piece for them. Got two of those, and I figure probably around thirty bucks. But I'll have to do I'll have to look it up. They might be actually worth a little more having two of them there. And then I got twenty of these. These are M&M banks. They've got um, let's find the one that's facing where I can see it. They're some kind of spoonbill bird on it. But I, these were also two for a dollar. So I've got ten dollars on this whole box. Uh, ten of them that are left. Um, and I figure I'm thinking maybe five dollars a piece, at least three. So if I sold for three dollars a piece, that'd be sixty bucks, and that'd make all my money back for tonight, actually. And then everything else is just profit. Uh, so pretty good night. Um, just uh, no nothing big this t this weekend. Just some some little stuff for eBay and the flea market. Thanks for watching the video, everybody. Be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel here. Also check out the Facebook page, which I'll link below and post some pictures there, as well as uh, links to any auctions I've got. And uh, be sure you come back next time. Thanks, everybody.